What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 19 week pregnancy update. I think my last one was a 16 week pregnancy update. There's been a lot going on. The reason why I haven't done one is because one week we were packing for VidCon, the next week we were at VidCon, the next week I was probably just too lazy to put up a pregnancy update. But here we are. There's been a lot going on. There's a lot to update on and I'm freaking 19 weeks. Next week I'll be halfway through. I'm actually 19 weeks and two days. So only a couple days until I'm actually halfway through this pregnancy. So that's wild. I don't know how that happened. We literally have nothing for this baby. So we need to get on that. So a couple things that I have been addressing quite a lot recently on my lives and on my last video is yes, I am pregnant. We are having a girl. I'm due December 15th. I just feel like not a lot of people know that. There's a lot of new people here and a lot of people are like, wait, you're pregnant? And I'm like, yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> We've already found out the gender. We found out the gender at like 14 weeks. And a lot of people are curious about that too, but we have a few videos on that of us finding out. So if you want, you can go back and watch those. So I never go back and see how much I weighed in my last pregnancy update. But when I weighed myself, I weigh 134 pounds and I'm pretty sure that's like, right around maybe a pound or two up from last time or maybe it's the same weight i'm not sure i'm still in the negatives from where i actually started out in this pregnancy so that makes me feel good i'm halfway through and i'm still in the negatives i haven't actually surpassed how i was when i first started because i was sick in the beginning i lost about 10 pounds and now i'm like five pounds up from that that's really nice i still have a lot of room for weight gain. My cravings right now have definitely been hot Cheetos and something else to go with it. Like when we were at VidCon, I was craving hot Cheetos and cookie dough, but obviously I can't have cookie dough. So I was craving like hot Cheetos and powdered donuts. And so I always need like the offset. I need something salty and something sweet or something spicy and something sweet. I can never do just like one of them by themselves. But the really bad thing about the hot Cheetos right now is it always gives me heartburn and like acid reflux like feelings in my stomach if I'm not sitting up straight. Like if I'm kind of laying back or if I eat them too close to me going to sleep, then I can't really go to sleep because I just feel just like burning in my chest and that's no fun but I keep wanting them and I keep going back and buying them and I know it's not good like I should not be eating them but guys I can't help it like I just want hot Cheetos all the time I just need them even talking about them right now like I just want them and I have to cut myself off I, I definitely will not eat a whole bag in one sitting I will cut myself off like the most I'll eat is half I know it'll only make me feel gross a couple hours after that and it's like not good for me to eat that many hot cheetos so i know that in my brain i'm trying to get rid of it but nothing has come so far that has replaced that so hopefully soon something will replace that a different craving another thing that i've been craving is noodles and company alfredo and chicken that sounds so good right now like i could have that and also the chick-fil-a salads sound really good too i guess chicken kind of sounds good like breaded chicken sounds really really good like not grilled chicken but like breaded chicken with flavor like that sounds good tonight we're having actually parmesan chicken i'm really excited because that's gonna be super super good so yeah i would say i'm craving more salty things than sweet things and that just shows you i'm having a girl and i'm craving salty it doesn't mean anything speaking of i'm going to get my 20 week ultrasound on august 1st i'm actually 20 weeks on july 20 something but my doctor didn't have like an opening spot and then the next day was my birthday and then the next available date was August 1st. We haven't actually had an ultrasound after the one we got at 14 weeks to confirm that it's a girl. So we will be confirming the gender or changing the gender, hopefully not, of the baby when we go. I'm not really nervous because the lady would not have told us the gender if she wasn't like 99.9% .9 sure. Plus I was about a week above the time that they normally do that and a lot of people are confused about that because their doctor doesn't even let them find out or no doctor will tell them until they're 18 to 20 weeks but for some reason both times with ella and with this baby they told me around the 13 to 14 week mark they were right with ella and hopefully they were right with this baby too because that would just be like the most confusing thing in the world but we'll see in like a week a lot of people ask me how are you feeling? Like, are you feeling good? Anytime somebody comes up to me or texts me after a while, it'll be like, how are you feeling? And I'm like, honestly, it's so weird to explain, but ever since about 13 weeks pregnant, I, I don't 
feel pregnant. I just, I'm not really sick. I'm not really tired except for some days I'm more tired than the other. And some people, it's just like everything about them is just like pregnant. Everything they feel. Oh my gosh, I have an awake baby. Oh my goodness. I think this happened in the last video too. She woke up while I was filming. Can you say hi? So anyways, a lot of people just feel pregnant all the time and i think that since i have ella it's really hard to not like dwell on the fact that i am pregnant like when i was pregnant with her all i could think about was oh i'm pregnant i'm this many weeks this many days this many weeks until i have her what's her name gonna be how many things do i have do i have the car seat do i have the car like it was all i could think about and this time i'm like oh it's fine like i don't i don't feel too bad like i don't need to really do anything we have pretty much everything that we need. We don't need to go out and buy anything. We have all the big things already. Plus I'm like, just, I take care of Ella. We do YouTube. We've been traveling recently. Um, I have to run a household, cook dinner. What are you doing? So it doesn't leave much time for me to like dwell on the fact that I am pregnant. Ella, you're in the camera, baby. I feel like within the next couple of weeks, I'll start to get like uncomfortable and my back will start hurting and sleeping will be uncomfortable. But as of right now, everything, everything's still the way that it was. Everything is still the way that it was like before I got pregnant. I'm not uncomfortable or anything. So. The only thing that has made me feel pregnant is I have been getting a lot a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. They've been really bad, not painful bad, but like uncomfortable bad. I'll kind of explain that, but there's been some times where I'm like, okay, this keeps happening, like, am I okay? And I'll look it up online and it's like Braxton Hicks are fine. They're just practice contractions and I'm never one to get too scared of something that's going on. Like, I, I, I'm not really paranoid about stuff like that and if I feel I really trust my gut and I felt like I was fine and I do feel like they're fine it's just uncomfortable then I'm fine I still feel her move I haven't been able to feel her move like outside my stomach but I feel her move on the inside all the time but this started a while ago actually and I didn't really take them as Brex and Hicks contractions like I do now. Maybe a month ago they started and it was like what it would feel like is if you've been pregnant before when you're like 35 plus weeks pregnant and you're just so big and the baby's so big that whenever they like stick out a limb or like just put pressure somewhere that's what it feels like like in one spot a pressure and it feels like an elbow or a knee or their head or something like that or their butt and that's what it would feel like but I was only like 14 weeks pregnant 14 15 weeks pregnant and I was like oh, I can't be feeling that and so I brought it up to my doctor and I was like I feel this pressure and I kind of explained it like I just did she's like well it could be that like it could be a limb and I was like okay and so then now that I'm getting bigger it's really turned into Braxton Hicks contractions where my whole stomach will just tighten up. When Braxton Hicks happened to me, I feel like I can't breathe and my heart starts racing. And I don't know why that happens. It may happen to everybody when they get a Braxton Hicks contraction. For me, it'll feel like really tight and yes. then I'll like have to take a deep breath and my heart will start beating really fast. And this happens to me a lot when I'm laying down. And I don't know why that is. It doesn't happen a lot when I'm up and about and walking around or doing stuff whenever I'm editing is when I feel it the most because that's when I'm like still and then at night when I'm trying to go to sleep as well Ella is just we're having a hard time recently she's been going through a lot where are you going baby she's leaving I don't know where she's going I don't remember having Braxton Hicks contractions until a couple weeks before I gave birth to Ella and this time if the Braxton Hicks contractions were that like immense pressure a couple weeks ago. I started at like 14 weeks or 15 weeks pregnant and they're so uncomfortable and I know that it's only going to be getting worse. And when I go to the doctor, I'll be bringing it up to my doctor, but I'm sure it's just Braxton Hicks. It's nothing more than that. They're not, they don't feel like actual contractions. Since I've had Ella already, I know what that feels like and I know what to look out for when it comes to like actual labor or preterm labor and so I'm not concerned about it it's just extremely uncomfortable and I know it's only going to be getting worse but like I said it's not all the time right now it's 
really when I'm sitting down and the only thing that just like isn't comfortable about it is that it makes me out of breath and my heart will start racing so it makes me like <sighs> and it's really uncomfortable plus like I've made Ben feel my stomach sometimes when it happens because I'll be like oh my gosh like this is so uncomfortable I'll make him feel it you can legit feel my entire uterus like you can like press in there and you can feel where it's tight and sometimes you can even feel the baby because it's so tight around her that like you can feel where she's at so that's weird he like freaks out every time it happens because it's really weird to like feel that I guess a lot of people have been asking about the name and we have two names still we haven't decided between them I kind of brought it up yesterday I think to Ben because I knew I was gonna be making this update video and I wanted to update you guys and he just we're just kind of sitting on it we're just kind of like and there actually is a name that came along and now i'm like so confused because i was about to make a names i love but won't be using and i was like ben do you remember any of the names that i told you that you didn't like and i brought one of the names up and he's like i actually like that name and i'm like oh my god and now we have like three names with potentially a fourth name but they all have the same middle name the middle name is solid but the first name is just not solid anymore and i thought we were and then yesterday he comes up and says that he likes this name that i really really love so i'm just so confused like i'm just as curious as you are as to what her name's going to be but we aren't sure if we have to bring all these names to the hospital and just like look at her and See what her name is then that's probably what we're going to do at this rate i'm only 19 weeks i'm sure we're going to figure it out within the next 21 weeks of me being pregnant hopefully and a lot of people are also asking if we are going to be announcing before or after i have the baby and i think that really depends on when we are set in stone on the name and if i have a creative enough way of announcing it that i like like depending on timing so if that's within the next couple of weeks i'm sure we'll announce it before she's born but if it's like at 37 weeks i'm not sure if we'll announce before she's born because in that time we're going to be moving preparing for baby and then the baby's going to be here and then we'll probably do it afterward but i don't know i feel like you guys think that we're holding the name back from you because i get so many questions about it but we really aren't we really truly don't know what we're going to be naming her yet i think at this point we already had Elle's name but it's really hard to name a kid like if you've never named a kid before it's really really hard to name a kid for like the rest of their life like that's gonna be their name so it's it's not that easy but we're working on it we're working on it i promise so i think that is it for my pregnancy update i kind of touched on some of the frequently asked questions and then the update on my contractions hopefully after my doctor's appointment i'll have a better explanation as to what's going on i know that you can get braxton hicks from being dehydrated or stressed since i already know that i really do make sure that i am hydrated i really only drink water so i really am hydrated all the time and i'm pretty stress free right now so i don't think that that's it either I was begging for my attention now so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video what are you looking at oh if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to follow our instagrams turn your notifications on and subscribe before you leave and we will see you in our next video say bye bye say bye bye <laughs> all right bye guys I just came back from lunch and realized I didn't do a belly shot, so things may look a little bit different in here, and I'm putting this at the end of the video. Yeah, I forgot to do a belly shot, and I just ate lunch, so it's probably going to be bigger than what it would have been earlier this morning. Alright, here is my belly. Since I just ate, it's like really hard and tough right here, because this is where my stomach is. But as you can see, I'm still carrying like pretty high. I don't really have just a belly down here. And you can also tell I'm carrying high because these are like my normal shorts that I can wear. And I can button them up. And this is what I was wearing today. That's it. Sorry, I almost forgot belly shot. But see you next time. Bye, guys. You set my world on fire.